six uh, plant kingdoms in the world and uh, these six kingdoms are based on, on huge or large ge geographical areas and associated plant groups and by that I mean for instance uh, uh, in Europe people are familiar with oaks oak trees, they are familiar with pine trees with uh, uh, the genus Prunus, peaches and they're all confined to the northern hemisphere so wherever you go, whether you go to China, whether you go to Canada, whether you go to uh, northern Europe you'll find uh, those uh, familiar plants and that's, that was termed the, the uh, boreal or northern uh, floral kingdom in Africa, most of African vegetation are known as the old world floral flora so they termed it the old world floral kingdom and there are plants in Africa which are which you find in Africa and Asia and uh, or the southern parts of Asia and India and that's all part of the old world flora for instance acacia, the, the thorn trees, there's the genus uh, ficus which are found everywhere for instance in Africa there's aloes, Africa and its island wherever you go in, in, in Africa you will find these plant or familiar plant species and the same the, the new world flora that's another plant uh, kingdom, the new world plant kingdom uh, is situated in, in South America and South America are very unique and that's the reason why they call it a, a different plant kingdom they for instance have the bromelia family which we don't have in Africa wherever you go in South America you'll find bromelia plants, plants as well as uh, the, the, the cactus family which you don't find in, in, in Africa and then that brings us to the, the uh, uh, Cape Floristic Kingdom and uh, the winter rainfall portion of South Africa sitting here right in the south was so unique and uh, when uh, European travelers came to South Africa in the 17th century they found it was so the flora was so different they couldn't familiarize themselves with it there were no oaks there were no pine trees it was so unique everything had to be named as new they termed they then named it as the uh, Cape uh, Floral Kingdom so this kingdom is the smallest of all the, the world floral kingdoms but by far the richest and it, it, it consists about of 90,000 uh, square kilometer that is all and it's, it's mainly on the, uh, also on the poor soils of the area and what, it, what is unique uh, of the flora it includes species like the Proteaceae uh, family the Ericaceae family the Restionaceae family which is a type of reed family where you get males and female plants and it, it also has unique families like the Peniaceae and the Bruniaceae which are only found here and nowhere else in the world so it's a, a very very unique assemblage of plants and uh, that also brings me to the Australian uh, plant kingdom that the Australian plant kingdom was also so unique uh, having species like uh, eucalyptus and many other unique uh, Australian flora that it was termed a, a floral region of its own and then the, the last one is the Arctic uh, floral region sitting in South America, New Zealand uh, so it includes uh, a few islands but the smallest and the richest of, the, of these kingdoms is the Cape uh, Floristic uh, Kingdom.